you know what I'm going to preach on today. <laughs> Lest we should offend them. Oh, well. How many of you have heard that there are people getting offended about everything? You know, I have a feeling if someone would get on our YouTube sometime and hear one sermon, they would be offended. Because Sometimes God causes conviction which makes people uncomfortable and they say, hmm, I'm not listening to that anymore. Right? I didn't like it. Didn't like it a bit. But you know what? Jesus really did something. And he did it with Peter and the synagogue tax, the tower of the, help me, ban the temple tax, right? He shook his head, okay, for those of you all who can't see. <clears throat> and who knows what he used to make sure the temple tax was paid? They call a banker? I don't think you know. This is one of my favorite stories, and I've never preached on it before, so you all are getting a real treat. A fish. A fish. How can a fish pay a temple tax? Cough yeah, up brother the, Harry, if you want to. Cough up a coin. That's, that's Harry. Come on, <laughs> kid. You never, you never shut up. <laughs> we only get here. Come on, let's hear it. Did he have some coins in his mouth? Yes. <coughs> and, <coughs> and I want to tell you what's really, really strange. He told Peter, right, to go out and drop his hook. Notice most of those guys fish with nets, right? A hook. Did he say bait it? He didn't say bait it. He didn't say anything like that. And he went out, and I, was, I hope he put bait on it. It just makes good sense to me. But would Jesus have to have bait on the hook for a fish to bite? Huh? No. And we're going to, you know, he just said drop the hook. He didn't say bait the hook. Drop the hook in, and the first fish you pull out, they let him know he could get more than one fish. Look in his mouth, and there will be like two denarii or a state. Now, would you, if Jesus kind of told you to do that, how many of you all would have enough faith? To go out and drop the hook in and say, okay, here comes a fish again. Okay. Huh? No, because that is not the right natural way you find money, is it? I'd look under a car before I do that. But you know what? That's probably the reason I don't get a lot of miracles in my life. I'm not willing to drop the hook in and let God take care of the rest of it. I want you to think about that. When you go to school, there are people watching you. When you go to work, there are people watching you. 
Sydney, I want you to tell Mr. Harry what Aunt Nunny says every time we go by the Methodist church down there. The first one coming up. Another sick. Another fine. Oh. Another fine job from Harry. <laughs> By Harry Ashton. <laughs> see, we have to we have to see further than our eyes see. We have to go further than we normally would be willing to go. You know, I was talking this morning about coming to Fort Bridge. You can ask my wife, five years is a, an eternity for me to stay in any one job, isn't it? Man, I like to mix it up, but for some reason I'm kind of happy. So y'all get me unhappy or something, I don't know, but I'm happy. What, how many times have you stepped out and gone fishing when God asked you to? In your heart you say, I probably should tell them about the Lord, but you know what, I might offend them. I want to break it to you, hell is offensive. And if someone wants to get mad at me over preaching there's a hell, they can just get mad at it. Because when they're in hell, they're going to remember every one of the sermons I preach. Period. Is that not true? You have a good memory when you get there. If you're not a Christian. But you know, I think we... <clears throat> worry about offending someone when we talk about the Lord. We might hurt their feelings. Remember, I'm going to tell you something. I know my wife says you just go after them like gangbusters. But you know what? What if no one was interested in ministry about Jesus Christ and our glorious Savior of the world. It would be a sad place to live, wouldn't it? And I'm going to break it to you gently. We're getting fewer and fewer and fewer people who wish <laughs> to hear anything about the Lord. There was a school I read about this week. It was so offensive to me, I can't stand it. I do not comment on Facebook very much, but I gave them a very scathing report. This little kid loved to play baseball, and he died. And they put a bench in memory of him at the ball field. It must be removed now because it has Philippians, is it 419? I can do th all things in Christ who strengthens me. Is that right? Uh, it's somewhere in there. And they're going to make them take that out. You know what? This world has gone totally crazy. Can I get an amen? It's time that we get down on our knees and remember God gave us this country. Amen. He trusted us with this country. He gave us men who are willing to fight for this country and die for this country. I want you to think about this. I mean, this might be the sermon, I hate to tell you. <laughs> I'm getting really wound up with these all these wigglers. You know, you know, we're teaching kids to hate a country. We're teaching them to hate a country. Don't you want them fighting for you when you're a senior citizen? Think about that. Just a minute. We're teaching our kids to hate God. We're teaching kids to hate our country. 
We're teaching kids not to be polite, courteous, and kind. And then we say, I wonder why they act that way. You don't pour hot water on a tea bag if you don't want tea. Amen. <laughs> Thus saith Pastor Ron. <laughs> <laughs> that comes from the Williams perverted edition of the Bible. Everybody has their own anyway, so I can have one. Whew. I don't know if I can preach today. I think I'm about wound out. <laughs> Let's join the hands. <laughs> I heard her go, amen, I'm taking it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dear, Dear Lord, bless our country. Bless our country. Bless our leaders. Bless our leaders. And Lord, bless our churches. Bless our churches. Let us have pastors. Bless our pastors. Who breaks the bread of life. Who breaks the bread of life. <clears throat> Without apology. Without apology. And only your word is presented. And only your word is presented. Protect our young people. Protect our young people. Let them grow strong. Let them grow strong. And in love. And in love. With a Savior. With a Savior. That will keep them through everything. That will keep them through everything. We ask this in your name. We ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Very good.